guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kata, the model investor. I hope everyone had an awesome Thanksgiving. Um, today I promised to do a really quick video. Um, I know I say that every time, but this is going to be the fastest video ever. Um, I get asked often what my favorite books are or what I read when I got started. Um, I wasn't a big reader before I started investing in real estate. Um, I know people are going to laugh at that because a model that doesn't read isn't exactly groundbreaking. But um, I've, I've learned so much and I continue to read now and I have about five books lined up actually in, in a queue that I need to get to. Um, so I have a million books, but I chose six of my current favorites. I know I'll be adding some to that, but I post on Instagram of what I'm reading at the moment and stuff like that, um, like a complete book poser. But anyway, so, you know, before I started, I think one of the first books that I picked up at Barnes & Noble's when I got the idea that I wanted to start investing in real estate was this book by Mark Ferguson, um, How to Build a Rental Property Empire, or Build a Rental Property Empire. And it just kind of covers a wide range of information. It doesn't go into too much detail, but it really gave me a good rounded out idea of from start to finish, like financing, how to find properties, how to manage properties. So this is a great kind of general knowledge book to get you started. Um, I followed that by uh, the book on rental property investing, which goes into more, it's kind of more in depth um, buy and hold rental properties. Uh, I have a couple of pages marked here actually that I are just kind of notes of good things that I keep going back to. It's on Bigger Pockets. Um, you can get it on Amazon. And it talks about should I have my properties in an LLC, creative financing ideas, uh, investing in multifamily, single family. It covers a lot of different strategies. So this is a great book. Um, it's probably the most rounded out, I know I said that for the first one, but this probably covers a lot more stuff than, than Mark Ferguson's book, um, but the two together are, are great. Um, another book that's trending at the moment, and I've, I've picked it up recently because I'm about to do my own burr, um, is the, the book on how to do a burr. Um, it covers from start to finish, um, the process, what to look out for. It's got some great tips. Um, I thought it was a little basic maybe, like I had, I kind of felt like I knew a lot of the stuff that was, was in this. Um, it was covered in other books, like the book that I mentioned before. But there are a few standout things that were specific to this book. So if you're interested in doing a burr, this is great. I know, I know um, a lot of people have picked this up because it's kind of a trending um, thing to do right now to a kind of trending word. Um, another great book. I loved this. Um, I read this about six months ago, uh, shortly before I put an offer in on my first commercial property. It basically just covers and, and talks about how being a small commercial investor gives you um, kind of a advantage over the big guys. And I definitely... You know, I have, I want to go back to a couple of points in this. Um, and as I scale my portfolio up and, and get into more commercial property, this is a great book um, to kind of go into the details of commercial commercial real estate. And yeah, it's, it's really well written and it covers a lot of information. There's a lot of stuff in here I don't know anything about. So I need to reread it again. But um, a great book for more experienced investors. Um, I read this when it first came out. I think it must be about a year ago now. Um, basically, this book is great because it kind of covers how to... It, it talks about financial freedom and not getting stuck in the mindset of a nine-to-five and how to break out of that and kind of live this life where you have more time and you're not in this cog wheel of the American dream being like nine-to-five own a house, it kind of breaks free of all that. And it's really interesting. He's got some great points. Um, it's not, he, he's a big investor himself. It's not specific to real estate. You could apply it to uh, starting a business or, you know, um, so that's a good one. 
and recently picked up this one, Big Potential. Um, again, not not directly related to real estate at all, um, but it, it basically talks about how we we have limited potential if we're just trying to do everything alone and by ourselves. But if we work together as a team, uh, we help others. Others help us. Um, the you know our potential is unlimited together. So you know I've done videos on how the real estate community has really helped me, and I feel very supported. And I like helping other people and giving back. So um, this this was a great book. It kind of tied that all of that in. So um, it's a good read. Um, it's not long. Uh, Sean Aker. Um, so yeah, I think. You know, I have like a million other books. I'll probably need to do another video to add to this, but that's kind of like my top six. Right now, um, I wanted to share that with you, and I will definitely update you if some new books come onto the radar. And yeah, so that's about it. But I hope I, I did this quickly, uh, and I need to wrap this up. So I will post another video next week. Thank you for watching as always. Um, feel free to comment uh, if there's a topic you'd like me to discuss. Um, and yeah, until next time, um, happy holidays and I will see you in a week. Bye.